Hey, welcome back to Milton Daily Homes and Chuck here. We got 32, actually 33 properties today. There's one on Ortis that's a really good deal. And I'll talk about that at the end of the video. But I was at a session with Councillor Colin Best and we talked about uh, development plans in Milton. I'm going to put a link down below with the development map. You can click on the map and it's by area. It'll tell you what's going on. Uh, but from a big picture perspective, we're looking at Milton might sit somewhere between about 110, 130,000 people right now. Uh, by 2031, we're looking at 238,000 by full potential. We're looking at maybe around 350,000 people. So lots of stuff going on. Uh, the most exciting stuff for me was the things happening on the east end so uh like i wrote down a note here uh eighth line and uh britannia is going to look a lot like heartland so things like that that are just like way beyond most people's uh scope of awareness something almost like oakville town square is being developed um <clears throat> the sherwood community center is going to have two hockey rinks um really really cool things ec drury i mean it's 66 acres there's 300 students eventually the hope is is that something will be done with that land um anyway yeah really cool stuff if you have questions about development just reach out to us let us know uh it's it's a fascinating time and, and we do the flights over milton we you know certainly try and stay on top of what's going on not even in the next two or three years but the next 20 or 30 years and uh and it's really really interesting it's a fun thing to experience so let's talk about some homes so i guess whatever they were doing on childs it wasn't working and so now they are uh they've dropped the price down what i like about this this is a four bedroom home it's by far the cheapest four bedroom option so they've now you know hacked the price down to 399 and they've said we're going to take offers on monday june 12th and i guess the intention is to kind of bring it back up but where they were before wasn't working out i think this is a, a fantastic opportunity the condo fees are a little bit higher uh, at 408 than you see in some of the other condo townhouses most of them are probably closer to about 350 and uh but yeah for four bedrooms if you need the four bedrooms plus the finished basement uh you won't find anything less i don't care how much the condo fees are it won't happen i mean at freehold you're probably for four bedrooms starting at 650 i would say as a rough guess so offers on this one in hasselfeld are tuesday and uh, it looked familiar because I've sold this home. This, the, the, the current sellers were the buyers when I had it listed previously. And they really haven't owned it for that long. Like I can't see them after all the expenses of selling and everything else. I can't see them making a, a ton of money on this one. But 549, 1275 square feet plus a finished basement is a very, very strong value and uh it looks clean and tidy i know the carpets were replaced right before we listed it before so you've got uh pretty nice looking carpets berber upstairs and there's your finished basement so pretty quiet street and i think it's worth uh it's worth more than this there's also the i was going to talk about this at the end but the ortis one i think is so similar so now you've got a uh You've got Riddell Crescent here, which is a little bit smaller. So now you've got uh, 1130 square feet. So 145 square feet smaller. Kind, not that much different in terms of layout. You're not getting the Eden that you have with the other one, which is called a Bolton model. And then you've got three bedrooms upstairs. Both of them only have one full bathroom up on the second floor. And you do not have a finished basement here, but if uh, if you did want to purchase this one, I don't see any hold back on offers too. So listed for around the same price, uh, somebody obviously without knowing offer dates is going to gravitate towards the other one being bigger with the finished basement. But do you want to hold off on the other one or does this one fit your needs? uh and then just go for it i would say this one's probably on hasselfeld 
you know, like the first digit should be a six when it's all said and done. Um, but anything can happen in this market. It's a really fascinating time to uh, to buy and sell. So we got 383 made. This is Green Life One. Uh, I've talked many times about how I like this building. Uh, the construction is well done. The pictures are not so good. The pictures don't match the quality of the uh, the building. But anyway, it is what it is. I think that there's uh, there's almost a waiting list of people uh, to get into this building too. So it could sell for more. It does show fantastically well. But uh, the last unit that was in really, really good shape was around this size and it sold for a lot more than these guys are asking. So they're holding back on offers. It's very interesting. Another good deal here, I have mentioned this before, Brandon Terrace, I don't love the location. It's just, it's kind of north of Maple. It's right by the 401, which will continue to expand. That's another thing that was talked about at uh, the, the breakfast with Colin, the coffee with Colin, is, uh, you know, the 401 now is six lanes. It's going to go to 12 lanes. Now, how long that'll take is probably close to 20 years, but it will happen. I think that whoever buys this home is probably not going to stay there for 20 years. Uh, so it's not a massive home. I don't know the size of this one. I'm guessing it's a little less than 1,500 square feet. Three bedrooms, two full washrooms upstairs, finished basement. And for 609 I think it's one of the better deals out there right now. Hutchinson, another one that's holding back on offers. Six forty nine for a Powell with a finished basement, even if it's not perfect inside. That's a very, very good deal. There's we're starting to see a little bit of frustration from some people. They're saying, "Man, I need to get this thing sold." And Brandon, possibly this one. Uh, yeah, I, I think that. Um, you know, this model now goes for probably seven to seven fifty. At its highest point, it was going for more than eight fifty. I think single car garages detached uh, have been hit, probably along with freehold towns. I think the hardest out of all of the properties out there for, uh, in terms of like market shifts. So this one on Donnelly backs on to James Snow 699. Uh, let me check if they're holding back on offers. Yes, they are. So Wednesday, June 14th, they're holding back. Uh, it does have a walkout basement, which is nice. You don't see that a lot. Milton is a lot of flat land. And I guess the other thing that I would be, I don't want to say concerned about, but I really don't think it's a good thing for a buyer central air conditioner furnace and hot water tank are rented it's sold as a benefit to people uh you know oh you can rent it and all the maintenance is is all taken care of but it's a lot like it's they didn't mention how much usually it's like 150 bucks a month for all of that maybe more um if you look if you actually look at how much um you know it costs over even 10 years and some of these contracts are longer than that it's way more than you can buy these uh, for up front. Now, if you if you decide to pay it off, there is a premium attached to that too. So it's kind of a uh, deal with the devil in the sense that it's hard to get out of. In a situation like this where you're competing against another buyer, do you kind of swallow that as something that you just take over? Or do you ask the seller to pay it off, which is going to reduce the the, I guess the desirability of your offer so if it's not a multiple offer situation then you can usually deal with that and have the seller pay it off but in this kind of situation where the home is listed for potentially lower than it could sell for then I would say to me it would almost make me stand on the sidelines nothing to do with the house but that central air furnace and hot water tank is something hot water tank normal but central air furnace i wouldn't even get involved with it so there are some really really nice homes on joyce willow uh and anderson three in a row in this list i don't see any hold back on offers on something like this on anderson we just sold the the neighbor next door which is nowhere near the condition of this one uh, which sold that for we'll called high sevens. Uh, 825 for this one looks very good. 
Uh, you don't have a washroom on the main floor. That's one thing that I find people just kind of, you know, they're like, oh, I, where is that? You could probably put it in, but it would be a bit of a challenge. Uh, this has all been customized. This has all been kind of blown out here. Uh, kitchen's been redone and you've got uh, four bedrooms upstairs. They're not huge bedrooms. I would say at least half the people that walk into this home are eventually going to put maybe like an ensuite walk-in expansion of the master bedroom and then do a, uh, another washroom upstairs. So there is one full washroom down in the basement right there and you get a nice looking backyard too. Uh, and you have pool plus grass. So when the pool's kind of right in the middle of a place, uh, it can ruin the functionality. But if you put a fence around here, kids can play over here, trampoline or you know, kick a ball around, and they can still have the pool use there. So I think this one's an outstanding deal at 825, even for what you can get in the new area compared to this. I, I, you know, even in a tough market like this, I feel like this one, there's just going to be a flood of activity. So I think the draw on something like King Street is, I mean, it's just, it's one of the better streets out there, period. 66 by 132 foot lot, walking distance to downtown, uh, that town square I was talking about. This one won't be too far from there. Uh, 929, essentially you're getting a bungalow in an amazing location with what looks like a uh, kind of a separate second suite down in the basement and you get a pool with some privacy so all that together looking pretty good now something like this on Bouton Crescent I don't know what the conversation was like but this is a Tothberg it's 3300 square feet with a finished basement just a few doors down there's a uh, 3970 almost 4,000 square foot home listed for the exact same price with a partly finished basement so and five bedrooms all the rest of it so the finishes um, you could argue I think the other one I'm about has uh, has more finishes than this one in terms of value of upgrades but I don't really know how somebody could kind of look at both and go Okay, so we're in price at the same as a home that's, you know, 600 plus square feet larger than us. But we'll see. The market is the judge of everything. And then you throw this one in the mix too. So Hinchy Crescent, uh, 1.298, pretty much the same price. $8,000 in this price range is usually, I would say, negotiable. Uh, not as good of a kitchen so you kind of you don't have the same inside but you do have by far a better yard so if you get back here and you've got that pool back here under green space uh, I would hope for a bit more privacy here because that's a walking trail but you've got that kind of nice walkout finished area in the back it's lovely it's beautiful and this last one's kind of interesting because whenever you see activity on Enesclare, new listings and sales, this one kind of pops up every probably year, year and a half. It says, okay, well, we're going to try the market now. Very, very, very modern looking home. Uh, very clean lines. And pr like it's just most of the country stuff has a little bit of country to it. And this one has almost kind of yeah like it's and then i don't know about these floors here they don't seem to match anything and there's a fountain in the back uh i guess if it's big enough you could walk down there and kind of like a like a hot tub i don't know i have no idea i'm just kind of talking nonsense at this point but um yeah i don't know i still think at 1.2 there's a lot of things that are good that are hanging around for less than this uh, including that one on fourth line with a water slide. So there you go. That's the list. If you have any questions, let us know. Have a great weekend. I think the weather's going to be beautiful, and we'll see you back here on Monday with more Milton Daily Homes.